Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is going to be another raid Shadow Legends video. So guys, there were a bunch of leaks to the champion nerfs and buffs um, released yesterday by another content creator, Manable. Uh, what I want to do in this video is focus on the three major nerfs that he talks about. Um, I'm going to give my reaction to his video, basically. So, uh, and I just want to throw it out there really clearly up front. None of this has been verified. Uh, and I've asked a question, is it real? And they've come back and said, we can't give you any information for like another week and a half, two weeks. So um, I thought to myself, shall I just wait until the actual official information comes out? But I've got a ton of DMs asking me, what do I think of this? What do I think of this? So I figured I'll make a video. Um, now, just to kind of talk about where do these information leaks come from. Now, Manable is very well connected. Manable was looking for like the undercover group of people that um, were responsible for arena cheating. So he went, um, started talking to a bunch of the, the Russians. The Russians are now embraced him. Um, and he met a guy that had actually been to a, um, a Plarium like, I don't know, like a staff party, or I don't know how you call it, but basically like a summer party. And he actually met with the CEO of Plarium. Now, the CEO was was in this kind of like, I don't know, like cosplay outfit. Um, and to be fair, he got a bit tipsy and started to spill information about the September patch to the Russian guy. Now, Manable's well connected. He took this information in and was like, I'm going to share this for you. So that's where it's come from. I can't guarantee the source. I can't guarantee the nerfs. But we're going to talk about the three big ones. Um, and I'm going to give my opinion. Now, before we do that, I'm actually going to throw us into an arena fight with the three big ones and uh, just talk you through why they should get nerfed. So first fight, we're going to play with two of them. We're going to play with Sifi and Madame. Um, and they are in the running for nerfs. We'll get into that in a second. Why should they be nerfed? Now, Tormund, big threat in the arena. Tormund, big threat. I'll tell you what, Sifi goes first, nullifies any Tormund threat. Block debuffs goes out. Um, second big one in there is Madame. Now, if you think about what a, an epic generally does, you might get one big skill. You may get two big skills out of one move, okay? If we think about Madame, she's void. So nobody scares Madame, okay? One. She blocks, uh, she reduces defense and attack, both big versions, in the same move. Call that three things, okay? At the same time, she cleanses any buffs from the enemy. Four things. Uh, and it also goes out for three turns, which is pretty exclusive to maybe a few, like a handful of champs. So with one move, she does five killer things. Most epics are lucky if they get two. Most legendaries are lucky if they get three. So she is way above and beyond anything else in the game at doing this move. So she'll drop it. As long as she's got enough accuracy, she'll drop it all. And that is basically two broken champs. Now, if the enemy gets a turn, Sifi... I mean, she's going to die anyway. But Sifi, if they've got high turn meter, will put them to sleep 100% of the time. Sleep which is busted. Um, so that's those two. If uh, This is a really good example, actually, of the same type of fight because you've got big shields coming out first. Um, let's see if I can make this work with the third uh, incriminating factor. So big shields go out, double shields go out, block debuffs here. This is immunity gear on this guy. We're just going to nullify the Tormund. Bam. Speed ourselves up. We're going to rip off any protection they've got. And lower their defense. Even though they've cut in and I'm in trouble now because I've not speed tuned the rest of my guys. Uh, I can look at this and think, well, who's the threat here? He's a threat because he can do a lot of damage. He's a threat because he could actually try and provoke me. But I've got I've got block debuffs up. Same for this guy, really. Anything he can do, I can block. Um, so I guess I'm just going to put this guy to sleep. Yeah, and then I know that I've got my Rotus coming in, who pairs really nicely with Sifi, and this guy, well, let's stop him being annoying. So we can just kill him in one shot, because he's got Block Revive, he's got Ignore Defense, um, and he's got then another turn. But don't worry, guys, 
This will be back in a sec. This will be back in a second. I'm then on A1 with a 30% chance of granting me another extra turn. So I can just A1 and hope that I get another turn. Didn't on that occasion. Uh, if I was BGE, that would definitely would have propped there. So that and that's that's basically it, guys. I'm gonna wake this guy up now, but like an idiot. Oh, but hold on a second, we got slammed. Don't worry though, guys, because we can cut in because of a passive. I mean, for anyone who thinks they're not broken, you, you honestly just need to look at yourself in the mirror because I'm taking out the biggest champs in the game and I'm not even like flinching at it. So they're, they're busted, okay? All three of them are broken for their own reasons. What we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into Manable's video and, um, and just react to what he thinks those nerfs are gonna be. Okay, so we're gonna start with Seafy, guys. First champion we're gonna talk about, Sifi, my absolute one of my favorite champions in the game. So, we all know she is slightly broken. We all see that, we all complain about that, everyone that doesn't have her is upset that she's there, and everyone that has her is super, super happy that they have her, but she is a bit on the unbalanced side. Now, in my mind, I always agreed with that, and I always accepted that, but at the same time, I was very worried on how they're gonna go about nerfing her, because she's yeah. a very delicate champion, and nerfing her the wrong way may actually really break her. So, let me go over what changes are gonna happen to Sifi, of course, give you my thoughts, and please do give me your thoughts down below in the comments. First will, change that's gonna happen with Sifi, heals on her passive, heals each ally by 15% of their max HP at the start of every turn. This is gonna get reduced from 15% heal at the start of every turn down to 10%. So let's stop there, 15% down to 10 for the heal. Uh, it's a reasonable change actually, and I think it's a good change, but for me, it's not the right change. Um, so let's carry on and see what Manable's got to say on that. At the start of every turn. This is a definitely an okay nerf. I'm very comfortable with it. I'm very okay with it. I don't mind it whatsoever. The next nerf... I just, just on that. So the reason why everyone will be comfortable with that is because it's not actually nerfed any of the things which make her busted, really. I mean, that 15% heal, it's not enough to uh, keep a team alive in clan boss. It's, it's, it's a nice to have in the arena, but it's definitely not anything that's kind of broken on a kit. I don't like it at all. Let me just put it to you guys that way. Uh, you know, all my champions are speed tuned to be speed tuned with uh, Sifi. So now I will have to re-speed tune my Arbiter and my, my second boosters just to make sure that um, they're going to work properly uh, speed tuned with Sifi because now her A2, instead of her turn meter boost being 15%, they're reducing that down to 10%. Uh Okay, so the second nerf that he's talked about there is the speed uh, turn meter fill going from 15% down to 10. Let me give you a live example of what this looks like for me right now. So I've pulled up the speed tune calculator. What I've done is I've put in a CFI number. I've, I've assumed my uh, CFI's got 300 speed right now. Um, and I've looked at what speed do I need to run my Arbiter at as second place now which is 251. If I had a 300 speed C fee, I'd need to be running an Arbiter at 251 to make sure that I never get cut in on. And obviously that then rolls down to your Madame and then onto your, your damage dealer, yeah? Uh, so with the change that they're suggesting, 30% speed boost still, 10% turn meter, I would need to add approximately 10 speed to each of my champs. It's not insignificant. It's not. But for me, it doesn't actually fix the issues with Sifi. Uh, if we go back into the game and think about the issues with Sifi, one, you need no resistance to land her A1. It's actually the biggest single broken thing about her. If they just change this instead, I'd rather they change this to the turn meter thing. Just change this to need accuracy and I think she's fixed to a certain degree. She'll still be super strong. But I think she's actually pretty fixed. Um, I mean, the other thing I probably would do is reduce the chance of her removing freeze and fear because they're the two things which can try and break it up, try and break up what's going on. Um, but for me, the two changes are they're, they're a move in the right direction, but they do not fix the problem. I think they just keep the problem exactly where it is. So again, look, I don't know if these if these um, nerfs are real, but for me, 
she's still going to be busted, guys, to the same degree. Because it won't take long for people just to adjust the speed tune. Okay, you've got to use slightly better gear on the rest of your guys. But once you're in front and moving, it's pretty easy to stay in front and win. Um, so I don't think that's going to really heal her up. And once you're in front and moving, she doesn't even need to heal people because everyone else is dead. Um, so let's, let's, um, let's move on to uh, Rotus. At this point, guys, I just want to say I'm not going to spill all of Manable's video here. You should I'll, I'll pin it below. You can watch it in full. It actually goes over a load of other stuff. And um, I, I don't know if all of it's being dropped as he says it is, but it's definitely worth a look because there's some interesting stuff in there. But let's concentrate now on Rotus. Let's see what he says for Rotus. So let's go over Rotus and what they did with him. A1 is going to go ahead and now grant 25% chance to grant an extra turn instead of 30%. So. It's, I mean, it's actually, it's okay. It's an okay change if there's a load of other stuff going on. It's A1. It's kind of cool, but not broken. It's a bit chancy, okay? It's a bit chancy, and all of a sudden, you can just get round to your A3 again. It's all about his A3, guys. So if this change happens, this is okay, because you've got a slightly lower RNG chance to get to his A3. I like it. 5% nerf, totally fine with that. Not a big deal whatsoever. The next thing they did to Rotos, I'm not so happy about. His A3, one of the magical parts about his A3 is that if he's in Savage gear or you have him in Relentless gear and in Helm Smasher, you have a 50, either a 100% chance or a 50% chance to attack a target and ignore 100% of their defense. So let's start there. I mean, I know that Manable goes on to say he's not happy with this. I've got to say, if you ignore 100% of somebody's defense, then it's like hitting a wet noodle with a massive hammer, with a massive club. Um, if you can imagine, uh, I don't know, like you've got, you've got 10, 10 books, yeah? And for each one of those books, you've got 10% of someone's defense. Now, if someone says to you, yeah, I want you to try and rip through a book, you'd be like, yeah, no worries. If you've got to try and rip through the 10 at the same time, it's pretty much impossible. What this guide says is like, I don't even see books. I see one sheet of paper and I'm just going to tear it in half because he ignores all of that protection. So basically what he does is he stops the tank meta coming into the game, um, which is too strong. At the moment, he's got 75% chance to remove defense, uh, ignore defense. Manable goes on to say there that um, if you put him in Savage Deer, if you put him with Helm Smasher, you can actually ignore all defense, which is why he's so he's so ridiculously broken. And he gets another turn once he's done that. So kills one, gets another turn, and potentially kills someone else. This is what makes his A3 so absolutely powerful and so beautiful of an ability. And then on top of And so broken. Of that, you know, you cannot revive anybody after that. So yeah, ridiculous. So this is definitely a very, very strong ability, but the way they nerfed it, I wasn't exactly too ecstatic about. What they're basically doing is instead of Rotos now ignoring 75% of the target's defense, he's gonna go ahead and ignore 60%. This, this change was one of the changes I suggested, actually. Um, however, I said instead of ignoring 75, you ignore 25. So there were three things you could have done with this ability to make Rotus still become really strong, but not be broken anymore. Um, one of the things you could have done was remove his block revive. Okay, that's, that's the first thing you could have done. The second thing you could have done was remove his, his extra turn if he kills someone. So he kills someone, sits them down fine, but then he can't do anything for a turn. Um, or the third thing you could have done is made sure that he didn't remove the tank meta. Now, if you're ignoring 60% of someone's defense as a base, then someone puts drop defense out there like a madame, let's say, um, and he's in savage gear. I tell you what, you still pretty much ignore 100% of someone's defense, and he's still the same. He's still the same, guys. Um, so. Changing this down to 60. Manable's upset about it as we're going to hear, but for me, it's not enough. Of the target's defense. Meaning that if you had Hump Smasher on, now he's ignoring 85% of the total defense. It's and huge. if you add Savage, he's going to be ignoring 85% again. And then maybe if you put him in Hump Smasher, he'll get back to 100% after that. 
Yeah. So that's, and that's what people will do with the gear. They'll go Savage, Helm Smasher, plus uh, drop defense on the enemy. You've got no pro problems killing someone in a one-shot steal. It doesn't actually change the issue for me. Um, now, I know loads of people are going to be on the comments below. They're going to be like, man, what are you going on about? I've got a Rotus. Yeah, of course you've got a Rotus. That's why you want him to stay really, really overpowered and strong. Um, but for me, uh, I, I guess I like the fact they're not nerfing people into the ground, but I still don't know that they're bringing them back on the level. See if he's definitely not back on the level with that change. Rotus, I don't think, comes back on the level with that change. So let's move on to our last one then. Let's move on to Madame. Okay, let's do it then. Let's, let's see Madame. That way I know what your what your mindset is on Rotos. Next one we're going to talk about, which is a huge one. The most busted champion in the game. I don't care what you guys say for an epic champion. I'd say for an epic she is. Uh, Seafy's more busted for me, but yeah, for an epic, I get it. This is by far the most broken champion, and it is by far, she is the people's champ. Everybody loves Madame. I can't blame them. She does it all. She is so great, but she's in need of a tuning. Now, this is going to be the first nerf that I 100% agree with how they approached, and I absolutely love it, and I would rate this nerf <laughs> from Polarium a 10 out of a 10 in execution. I feel like they did an absolutely brilliant job with nerfing this champion. Let's and see. what they basically did was on her A3, instead of placing the debuff on all enemies for three turns, she is now going to be doing it for two turns. It so if this is true, guys, and again, I've got to sprinkle the old, I've not been given anything official on this and I've asked the questions. If this is true, this isn't a nerf for Madame. If this is true, this is this is like the person with the smallest pea brain who's been set a task. It's like this guy just started in playing this week and they they said, dude, we've got an issue. None of the big super brains we've had so far in the office can fix this issue. Can you come in and fix it for us? And he's like, yeah, I'd, I'd bloody love the chance. Yeah, I'd love the chance to do it. So they're like, this is the problem. And then he's going, well, it looks like the problem is it goes on for too many turns. The problem is, is that it goes on for too many turns, which means that over those three turns, people are killing people in the arena. Um, what about if we reduce it to two turns? And everyone in the office is like, yeah, <laughs> why didn't we think of that? Um, this will change zero. This will literally change nothing at all. Nada, zero, nothing, no difference. I don't know why we're bothering talking about her in, in the nerfs. Um, anyone who was worried their madame is, is going to be busted, not worth leveling, all that type of stuff. Level them up. She's exactly the same. She's exactly the same. The only place at the moment where this three turns brings any sort of benefit to your game is if you use her on clan boss and she's actually viable on clan boss right now because of this but that is the only place in the game where this makes any sort of difference in the arena zero difference guys literally zero difference um if this is what they're actually doing then shame on them for not growing a pair because this is ludicrously bad. It is absolutely not needed whatsoever for her to do this for three turns. Exactly. In arena, most of the time, matches don't even go three rounds. Exactly. So it's not going to make any change whatsoever. Exactly. So how then is that, is that the right nerf? Now, look, I get Manable. Um, he's probably like, he's been the people's champion. And I, and I appreciate him for doing that, actually. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, thank you, Manable, for, for sort of sticking up for everyone that's got these champs. I am looking at this from a point of I'd love the game to have a bit more balance and these three ch three champions that we've spoken about today don't allow for balance. Madame does more than any legendary in the game by a mile in the arena. By a mile. You know, the closest probably is Ray. Closest probably is Ray and she doesn't drop defense, doesn't drop attack. Um, so, guys, it feels like if this is real... Um, None of those three are enough for me 
But the worst of the three is easily Madame, because that does zero. At least the other two have moved some way to try and fix a problem. This one wouldn't fix a problem at all. Um, I would encourage you to go and watch Manable's full video. He talks about a bunch of other stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go into it here and steal his thunder, but uh, I just wanted to give my thoughts on those three big nerfs that are coming in September patch. Um, let's hope there's still time for them to, to employ someone that might have a bigger brain. Uh, I've been Hell Hades. I'll catch you later.